We're back. Thank you. Thank you, George. George Zimmer there. We booked only the big names on this show, only the really big names. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Almost Live is not just, not just a comedy show. No, it's also a very important forum for the investigation of claims of the paranormal. And here, probably the most abnormal person that we know. Please give a warm round of applause for Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> See you, Bill. They love Bill. Bill, this is your crowd, obviously. They can't get enough of you. We always love to have you here. You know, last last time you were here, you had just huge effects. Everything worked great. It was wonderful. I know you're going to top it tonight. <laughs> well, golly, Mr. You've got Kaysen. fire. You've got lots yeah, of fire. Yeah, uh, we're going to do our dog on this, John. Okay. But first, as always, please put on your safety glasses this year, this week, rather, yeah. in a festive holiday red. Wow, look at that. <laughs> John, we're going to top it, huh? All right, All we're right. going to top it. Okay. All right, John, now consider the following. Okay, we've got a flask here. What type of flask, John? Uh, a Pyrex flask. Well, Pyrex indeed, brand name, but this 500 is... 500 milli milliliter. Yeah, that's like you get when you buy a beer, John. Right, okay. Yeah, beer. okay. <laughs> Thank you for putting now, it in my language, yeah, Bill. Yeah, sure. layman's language. Now, John, just, just consider the following It's a safe experiment. Pyrex thing now. Okay, try, try to blow the balloon into there. Try to blow the balloon? Yeah. Actually, I, well, I don't know. Just for the crowd. Okay. Don't, don't take too long. Uh, uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not gonna happen, is Once it? Once again, I can't blow the balloon. Okay, Once here you again. go. Flask, by the way, Florence flask, not Erwin Meyer, not boiling. Florence flask. Florence flask here. This is a Florence filled flask. Filled with steam, filled with water vapor. I'm gonna back away for just I'll a just second. I'll just rotate here. this out of the way. Just and this past. was a Bunsen burner named after whom? Uh, Mr. Bunsen. Robert Bunsen, that's right, John. Thank right you. on top of it. I, got I don't know how you knew that. Okay. Now, there it is, the water vapor a little bit escaping. A hot flask. A hot flask another John. safe uh, flask. Yeah, another one. Bill gonna... attaches a balloon to this flask. Now, as the water vapor cools, ladies and gentlemen, the balloon will be drawn in. Now, Amazing, see, Bill. I can see. Yeah, it's happening. Look, it's see, happening it's, big it's time been... now. Because we're so on a big not time being blown, It's being sucked. It's being... John, yes, you've All crystallized right. my thoughts. Right. Now we have the uh, cool it just a little more in the ice water bath, hoping for that dramatic. Remember at home, if you're having trouble blowing your balloons, have them, suck them with a, uh, Florence, with a flask. Florence flask. There John, moving over here. <clears throat> okay. Ordinary dish of water may look like a pizza pan to you. Please it does. It looks a lot. Like Secret a powder. Okay. Lycopodium powder from the lycopodium plant in the swamps of Britain. Really? And I put it on here not for any reason, just this so you can This is lycopodium powder from British plants, you're saying. That's right. Okay, you once again. You can see the surface of the water. Okay. Right? Yeah, now it's all dusty. Dusty water. Dusty water, indeed. You've crystallized my thoughts. Now, that is soap uh -huh. from the King washroom, John. Now, this Whoa. happens very quickly. I think I'll put on a balloon to handle <laughs> this, then. <laughs> John, don't worry. I have got it under control. Okay. So, after a fashion. Right. And uh, so, watch this very quickly. Okay. Soap from the King washroom. Whoa! Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen. It happens so fast. It happens virtually at the speed of sound. Okay. Now, John, what that principle. <laughs> Surface tension being broken. Surface tension. Water has gr grabbing on because yeah, of the yeah. asymmetrical molecules. They're like Mickey Mouse ears. They're grabbing onto each other. Okay, now, the we've got a little uh, motor boat. Little little boat here. Motor boat. That Bill is going to attach glue to because it right. says that glue can actually power the boat. Oh boy! Well, actually, uh -oh. Disaster. Not a disaster. But but yeah. look, the boat is actually moving. Oh, there. It's look, flying. it's going. It's flying. Just because he's put glue on it. So, so it's breaking surface tension, and that is driving the surface tension motorboat around in circles. Look at that. Yes. That That's very incredible. Look, it's going around. So, okay, let's surface wrap it up. Surface tension, now. surface tension. Surface now. tension. If you've got a boat, dump a big, a big bunch of glue on the back of it, you can water ski. That's right, right yeah, John. That's, that's right. right. Now, water. That's what I'm talking about, water. Okay. Surface tension, steam, water vapor. Now, you say to me, Bill, you say, why should I drink Diet Cola? Is it, does it make any doggone difference? Uh, yeah, does it? That's what yes, I was it asking. does, John. It does. Consider the following. Okay. Ordinary cola product, vat of water. An important sponsor for Almost Live, by the way. Sinks. And it sinks. Not like a rock, but it sinks. And you know why, John? It has this much sugar in it. Okay. That's wow. a lot of doggone sugar, isn't it? But sugar is good for you. Remember that. In moderation. Okay. We have to wrap it up. This product, Diet Coke, 
uh, Diet Cola has this much aspartame, 160 times sweeter than sugar. And consider the following. Look at <gasps> It actually floats. You see? That's so all you have need to it. do, John. So if you're on your glue boat and you don't want your products to sink, drink Diet Coke. It'll float if it goes overboard. Once again, helpful information from Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, nice to, what do you, you know, nice to have you here. And apparently he's going to blow the studio up. Bill, always nice to have you here. Let's have nice a big hand for Bill Nye, the science guy.